21st century, the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by Russian murderers. The whole Russian army is killing, raping, looting civilians for a month and a half already. These are not just savage troops, they call themselves believers. And they even have their own church blessed by the Russian Orthodox Church on the highest Kremlin level. The country that still has an exhibition of the dead communist Lenin on one hand builds the religion of war on the other. On their icons, Russian ministers, president, the whole cult of Putin, the shortest god in the history invented by human beings. And this is not exaggeration. In the country where people literally talk to TV, there is only one god and one religion. Hatred of Ukraine and desire to destroy it. Their god told them so. Their army in Ukraine burns and destroys the churches and temples of all religions. Ukraine is a multicultural country, so all the religions are widely spread. Among those burnt cultural and religious monuments, a lot of Catholic churches too. Meanwhile, in Vatican, they talk about peace and provide mini procession showing so-called unity of Russians and Ukrainians. Once again, the Catholic Church calls for unity between these ones and Ukrainians. This is not one people. There is absolutely no unity. But one thing is correct. Ukrainians are striving for peace. And throughout all their history, they know that the only way to reach peace is to stop Russians on land and in the air. Well, the best help from heaven might be not the prayers, but the fighter jets, or blessed fire, or white smoke over the Kremlin.